Systems and Update Equipment. After a First Coast News investigation, we interviewed eight former and current firefighters with 60 years of experience. So here's what our On Your Side team found out. A fire truck was late to a total loss house fire because of a maintenance issue. Maintenance issues were taking months to correct, and we found a turnover rate higher than the national average. And tonight, we've learned there's been red, red flags for years. Clark Breaker is on your side, looking back at the history of maintenance concerns and turnover trouble that they said that they're addressing now. Yeah, Anthony, some of the same issues we uncovered in our investigation were actually documented in the local paper back in 2013. That's prior to our review, which only covered 2015 and 2016. The problems reported by firefighters then are similar to the problems we found more recently looking through the department's records. A July 2013 Camden County paper documents issues with maintenance and turnover inside the fire department. Then and now, firefighters say they have concerns about keeping the public safe. When I left, I could not in clear conscience let these guys be driving around without somebody speaking up for them. Pete Corner was quoted in the article. He left Camden Fire in 2013 after four years. There's been maintenance issues for as long as I can remember. The concerns were published after this report from the Center for Public Safety Management was released. It said the department had implemented best practices and overall was capable, but encouraged changes. Things like developing a plan for refurbishing or replacing fire stations, developing a capital replacement program for vehicles, and conducting a comprehensive review of call processing times. Something has got to change at the county level. The department says it's replaced four fire engines and refurbished some ambulances, a cost of $2.3 million to the county. They also say they've instituted new programs for employees to curb their turnover rate. No matter what, if it's negative, we still look at it. I think it's important to look at it and see if there's anything there that we can correct and fix. County Administrator Steve Howard has once again asked for a review of the department. A contract with an auditor is supposed to be signed this week. I think that because of a culture of incompetence and indifference that has been uh, basically established and, and sustained by the county manager and his department heads, that the citizens in this county are paying for services they're just not getting. Corners had that message for years. He hopes the newest findings about his former department will continue to prompt improvements in public safety. We told you last week our investigations already yielded change in Camden County, mainly of that full department audit that's been ordered. Already, trucks we found that had failed testing are being retested and new equipment's being purchased to make sure the brakes on a fire engine work. On your side tonight, I'm Clark Foraker, First Coast News. And we've been working on this investigation for more than five months now. If you like